In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a template in Premiere Pro to save you a ton of time when editing. Deliver your value. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and I am here to help you deliver your value to the world. You know, as YouTubers, we're constantly trying to improve our craft and become more efficient in the process. So in this video, I wanted to take a look at how you go about creating a template in Premiere Pro. Now what this is going to do for you is put a lot of the elements that you use in every video at your fingertips and make your entire editing process much more efficient. Let's get started. All right, so once you guys see how easy this is, uh, you're really going to kick yourself for not doing it sooner. But uh, when you open Premiere Pro, this is what the screen looks like that you're brought to. You're going to click on New Project. Uh, really, the only thing you need to worry about on this screen is changing the name. In this case, I'm going to call it Template 4. Uh, that's only because I already have some other templates out there, but you can just call it Template. And then you click OK. It's going to bring you to your uh, work area. Down here in the lower left-hand corner is where we're going to focus our attention. Uh, in here, you have the ability to create bins. Bins are essentially uh, just folders within Premiere Pro to help you organize different elements that you may use in your videos. All you have to do is click New Bin and it gives you the opportunity to name it. So in this case, we're gonna do a uh, bin called Video. We're gonna save that, give ourselves a little more room down here. We're gonna do another one called Images. We're going to right click and do a, another one called, I just call this one intros. It's actually intros, uh, bumpers, and uh, uh, outros or end screens, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and you have that one. And then we're going to do one and we're going to call it music. And basically what you do from this point is you, um, first we're gonna click save. It's always a good habit to make sure that you're saving your projects because it does, it's really a bummer when you're working on something and there's some kind of glitch and you lose all your work. Had it happened to me a few times in Premiere Pro, so just be cautious of it. It does have an autosave feature process, but I've still lost work on occasion. But uh, in any event, now you have these bins. What you can do is click on these bins and you can right click and go to import and then you can actually uh, pull in items to those particular uh, bins. In this case, we clicked on music, so we actually want to bring in some music. So we're into our sound uh, section and we'll grab all of our music files and throw those into the music bin. So now they're right there and ready for us. Now we're still building our template, so we don't want to uh, go into an actual video project yet, but you do that same process. You put all your music files in your music folder, images that you use, maybe uh, icons or logos or things like that that you use on a regular basis. Throw those in there, get your, your bumper. If you haven't recorded your bumper, you know, your your, uh, branding or whatever it is that you're using in your vid video to identify it as yours or your end screens. Uh, that's something that you should definitely consider as well. Uh, and if you want some uh, videos on how to do those in Premiere Pro or other programs, let me know in the comments below and I'll consider that for a future video. But uh, you're gonna get those put in there and then your video folder, you're gonna leave blank in the template. Uh, and that is because you are going to pull in the actual video footage that you use for each given video in it at the time. So we have all that laid out. It's all kind of handy for us. We're gonna go ahead and click save, and then we're gonna take a look at what you do when you're ready to actually make a video. All right, so you're ready to make an actual video. You've opened up Premiere Pro, and this is what you're looking at. This is the template that we previously made. So when you're ready to make a video, the first thing you're gonna do is click on that template. Now, just so you don't forget, the next thing you want to do is come up to here and go File, Save As. All right, and this is where you're going to create a project in reference to the actual video that you're about to do. So we will do, we'll just call it uh, Video Topic 
Make sure we get our period back in there to keep it a project file. So now we're working in video topic, but you see we have all these bins here with all those reusable elements at our fingertips. This is the point where you'll grab your actual footage from the video that you're about to make, drag it into your video folder there. Again, hop up there and click save. Always a good practice uh, just to make sure you never lose a lot of work because that's always a bummer. Uh, and then you're ready to go. Super easy, like I said, and it saves a ton of time having everything in the project file ready to go when you're ready to edit. So hey guys, let me know in the comments below, did you find this tutorial helpful? I'm more than happy to share what I've learned so far in Premiere Pro, and I'm also happy to share with you all the new things that I pick up as I go along. So if this is something that's valuable to you and you'd like to see more of it, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to accommodate. And hey, don't forget, this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free, and there's a link in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to receive future notifications on videos that help you deliver your value to the world, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier, and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.